My name is Jason Moore. I'm the facilities manager at the Missouri State Fairgrounds in Sedalia, Missouri, and I'm empowering more youth by helping to provide a facility to showcase Missouri agriculture. I, I came to the um, State Fairgrounds in 2007 um, after spending some, some time in the construction business um, and had the opportunity to come to work for the department um, here at the fairgrounds. Uh, my job here is to oversee the, the daily maintenance operation um, of the facility. We're uh, 396 acres. Um, everything that, that comes onto the grounds inside our fences, whether it be the, the, uh, the electric grid, the water, the sewer, um, our HVAC, um, part of our phone system is all operated here um, with our staff inside this, this facility. We, uh, yeah, yes, typically, you know, when you think of the fairgrounds, I think everybody thinks of that, that one big event um, during August where we're, we're, we're showcasing agriculture to 350, 360 plus thousand people in the state, but uh, we're, it's a, it's a 365 um, day a year operation. I think in 2017, we had four, four weekends that we didn't have events um, on the facility. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an ever changing world and, and a constant, constant work. I think certainly families, when you think of the fair, you think of family, whether it's the families that are coming through those gates um, during that annual fair or, or your, your family that you work with uh, year round. We're a pretty small group here with 23 full-time employees, but um, during the month of August, um, you've got 1,500, close to 2,000 people that are they're all working for one, one goal, and that is the fair. So it, you have your family, and then you have your fair family, and it's, uh, it becomes a little bit addictive for sure. I think if you're, if you're passionate about something, at the end of the day, you, you'll, you'll succeed in it. For me, uh, not growing up in this, in this industry, I, I'm getting to learn things about, about the youth and the families that, that uh, showcase here every year. So whenever I get the chance, I think probably one of my favorite things to do is, is uh, if you can shut that radio off or that cell phone off for five minutes and, and step into the Coliseum um, when, when that youngster is showing his steer or uh, um, go into any of the show rings or the barns across the fair and see that, that smile that winds up on their face. Um, as they, uh, they're doing what they love and, and what they've grown up doing. It's, uh, it's a humbling experience and it's proud to be part of it. You know, I think, the, I think that, that Be More initiative, I think it's always been there. Um, I think if you look back through, um, through some of the folks that have, that have passed through here and, and the people you get to see with, with agriculture, I think if, if you're not looking to do more, and no matter what your profession is, um, you're probably doing it wrong. Uh, it would be my opinion. So we certainly strive to, to do more here to make a, a facility um, whether it's more safe or uh, more more fair, fair friendly, I guess. Um, just we're always looking forward to to doing more or making it more.